friends, it's The Stitches, and today I want to talk about conspicuous consumption in the kawaii community. But to talk about that, first we have to talk about general consumerism. We are all consumers. We all buy things. Consumerism is the protection or promotion of buying things, of consuming products. When you see an ad for Coca-Cola, that's consumerism. When you see a YouTuber make a haul video, that's also consumerism. Consumerism isn't always bad by nature, but it can lead to overconsumption. Most importantly, especially lately, it seems to promote the idea that overconsumption is not only normal, but it is the ideal that everyone should aspire to. Which can obviously help lead us to our current climate crisis. But here's the thing, consumers don't naturally have a desire to overconsume. Our natural state is to desire the things that we need, and plus maybe a little bit extra for comfort reasons. Culturally, we had to be taught to desire products. Because you see, not overconsuming is real and ideal for the industries that make most of their profit not by selling quality items, but by selling large quantities of items, like say, fast fashion. So instead of strictly assigning monetary value to goods, they convince us through advertising to assign a cultural value to goods. Remember when wearing clothing with visible brand labels was considered tacky? Of course you don't. Because for the last several decades, we've been living in a consumer culture where conspicuous consumption is king. Conspicuous consumption means exactly what it sounds like it means. Consuming in such a way that Everybody knows how much money you spent, or what brands you buy from, and it used to be considered a bad thing. Did you know that Chanel bags in the 1960s did not have Chanel logos on them? Even in the 70s, when the logos did start to show up, they were tasteful and actually incorporated into the design of the item. But then, the 80s happened and the age of the shopping mall came upon us and then they started putting their logo on everything and now every chanel bag has a massive logo right on front nobody would buy a chanel purse if it didn't have the logo right on front because then people wouldn't know how much money they spent on it people used to buy luxury purses because they were so high quality that they would last for decades 60s chanel bags are still in circulation you can buy them online one purse every day for decades nowadays the idea of using one bag for more than a month is laughable. We think even if we try, people will make fun of us even though there has been ample research showing us that people d don't notice what you wear from day to day. If things like Project 333 has taught us anything, it's that you literally can have a 33 item wardrobe and most people simply just won't notice. But Catherine, kawaii fashion and alternative fashion are counterculture, so why would they have the same issues as regular culture? Well, if the recent meltdown in the goth community about Killstar turning everybody into clones can teach us anything, it's that, yeah, conspicuous consumption does in fact affect alternative communities. Not only is conspicuous consumption a problem, but some people think that unless you can afford super high-end brands, then you can't dress alternatively, which... <sighs> Imagine living in an age where people genuinely believe that they cannot dress alternatively unless they can afford brand. If Kurt Cobain knew people were buying $200 sweaters and calling it grunge, he would be rolling over in his grave. It's almost like caring about a brand name and feeling a sense of accomplishment from being able to afford brand is part of a classist societal structure that we've all been brainwashed into valuing because it's profitable or something. The reason I bring this up is because I honestly do see so much of it in the kawaii community. I mean, just look at Lazy Oaf, look at Doll's Kill, look at a regular choice. 
We hold brands on a pedestal despite most of them honestly not being very good brands. We buy things not because they're quality and we think they will last us a long time, but because we think we'll get more likes on Instagram if we can put that brand tag on their picture. And I, I am not immune to this. I have been guilty of conspicuous consumption many times. Since you can't get out of consuming and consumer culture is gonna consumer culture whether or not you actively participate in it, I honestly don't really see a clear way out of conspicuous consumption in general. So I say we embrace it, but in a way that big businesses don't want us to. Instead of being loud and vocal about worshiping brands like Nike and Gucci and Supreme, let's be loud about small businesses. Let's be loud about our thrift finds. Let's be loud about our repurposed vintage. An independent artist making clothes. Let's be vocal about what we're not buying. Let's be loud about our tiny capsule wardrobes and the purchases that we refuse to make. I hope everybody has a good day. I hope everybody enjoyed this or found it entertaining or enlightening, and I will see you all next time. Bye!